Hi guys, this is Tony with Tony's Tips and Tricks, and today I'm going to teach you how to roll a rope. Rolling your ski line keeps it from getting tangled and makes it easy to carry around in store. There are several ways to roll a ski rope, but my uncle, Mike Murphy, taught me the show ski method. By doing it the right way, your rope will be ready for fast action the next time you ride. Sure enough, when I went to work at a ski show in the mid-1980s, this was the way it was done. It was important to standardize the procedure so that during a show anyone could quickly grab any rope and be able to get it ready for quick use. The show standard for rolling a rope is normally the clockwise motion. Grab the handle in your left hand and pull the coils in with your right. The coils will be in the clockwise direction. Each coil should hang down about 12 to 18 inches. With each new coil, twist the rope between your thumb and index finger just before you lay it into the handle hand. This keeps the rope from twisting. The amount of twist varies with individual ropes. You'll know it's just right when you get nice round coils and the loops aren't twisted. You can also twirl your rope to take out twists. You may have to do this several times on a stubborn rope. As you near the end of the rope, keep the last 18 inches free, even if you have to make the last one or two coils shorter. Fold the rope back on itself while you hold it between your fingers. Use your index finger to support the loop as you pass it under, around, and under the coiled rope and handle. Now all you have to do is take the free end, pull it through the loop just past the knot, and you're ready to go. Unhooking the single tie is fast and easy. That's why it's used in shows. Thread the free end back through the loop and pull. But when I'm done skiing now, I like to add one extra loop to keep my rope package nice and tight. Here we are in the same spot as before, but the tail of the rope is a bit longer for a second loop around the handle. The first part of the double tie is similar to the single tie, except that you should end up with enough free rope to go around the handle one more time. Place the free end under the handle following the same direction as your previous loop. Thread the tail through the loop you just made and pull it tight to complete the procedure. Getting the right amount of rope for the double tie off is a trial and error procedure. If you've overshot or undershot the mark, untie everything to the beginning of the tie off procedure and take more or less rope for the initial loop. Like anything, this takes some practice, but it's really quite easy once you get the hang of it. Ideally, the end loop knot will be just past the rope it passes under and will lock everything tightly in place. I hope that this lesson has taught you how to roll your rope just a little bit better. Next time we're going to talk about throwing and retrieving your rope. But until then, it's the end of the line. <laughs>